Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little. I'm here today with part two of the 19th week of weeklypokerhand.com, where today we're going to be looking at a hand my opponent played against me in a $50 online multi-table tournament. Right here we see J Card Shark, that's me, opens to 180, and AMD with a stack of 1300 chips elects to call. And I think this is a monstrous error. I think that right here you really only have one play, and that is to go all in. Um, anytime you have about seven times your opponent's raise or less, you should be going all in with a very wide range. Usually it's more like eight or nine times their open range, their open raise. It's going to be a very good shove. So I'm just going to pull up the calculator real fast right here. We'll see that um, he has 1,300 chips divided by 180 equals 7.2. So this is like right in the sweet spot. He has 7.2 times my open raise. And because of that, I think this is just a beautiful shove situation. I discuss this spot e extensively in my book, Secrets of Professional Tournament Poker. You can get that on Amazon. It's currently the number one poker book on there, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I, I discuss this situation because it comes up so often in multi-table tournaments where someone raises, you're fairly short stacked with like 20 big blinds, and you really only have one play, and that is all in. And my opponent makes a mistake of calling here, and what happens when you call is you're going to find yourself in tricky spots post-flop, and in general, you want to avoid those tricky spots, especially when you can make an extraordinarily profitable play pre-flop and just shoving. So he likes to check. J. Card Shark bets 240, and I think right here this is a pretty easy fold with King Jack. I mean, the th problem with this here is that you're going to be behind a decent amount of the time, and whenever you are actually ahead, you don't really know what turn card is going to be bad for you, and you don't know if you're, your opponent's tendencies and if they're just going to be barreling a lot. And I don't really think you want to go into call now mode with King High for your whole stack. This is something I see a lot of players do all the time, where they call here saying, well, I think I'm ahead right now, so I'm going to call. But what they don't realize is that on the turn in the river, they're just going to be totally lost. So always try to think ahead in the hand and figure out what's going to happen on future streets. And right here, nothing really good can happen on future streets. Turns a three, it goes check, check. When J Card Shark checks, that does not necessarily mean he does not have an ace. It, um, actually, I think in J Card Shark's seat here, he's going to check back almost his entire range because AMD only has a pot size bet left. So he doesn't really need to build the pot here. So what he's trying to do now is just make sure that AMD is willing to put some of his stack in if he hits something, or even if he has just king high, like he does. Um, and if J. Karshark has nothing, he's just going to get out of the way. So this is a spot where J. Karshark has huge implied odds, and AMD is has huge reverse implied odds. The river's a jack, and AMD bets out 300. I actually hate this bet. I think you're much better off checking to induce a bluff, or going all in to try to get called by worse. Um, betting 300 here, it's going to be tough to get called by too many worse hands because J. Card Shark either has a strong hand or he has nothing, most likely. And uh, J. Card Shark shoves, and right here, J. Card Shark has an ace or a flush every time. So even though you did river exactly what you wanted to river, you have the you have the worst hand, and now you have to fold. And for this reason, I don't like the bet in the first place. So just sort of throwing out 300 chips for really no reason. Um, AMD does look up J Card Shark and he loses his stack. And I, I think this situation, again, could have been totally avoided just by going all in preflop. Notice right here, if AMD shoves, he's going to pick up 315 chips, which is a pretty good increase to his stack size, about 30%. And he's going to have very little risk here. I mean, J Card Shark is going to fold his ace 5, no problem. So this is a spot where you just need to be going all in. It would have saved AMD his stack and he would have won a little bit. So that's gonna be this that that is gonna be it for this episode. If you guys have any questions or comments, or if you'd like me to go over one of your hands, please feel free to let me know. This has been Jonathan Little for weeklypokerhand.com. Thanks for watching.